Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K23 My Vice Mode. In the last episode, Ryan Wage hijacked the NXT UK Championship, then defended it all over the world, and WWE had no choice but to offer him a new contract. So how will his new stint in the WWE turn out? Let's find out. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the luck? Current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. We'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Shawn Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. And I'm here to tell you, the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now that I'm back, what's really 
Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade, but let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed, and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. A little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently, forever, or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. No chance. 58 days. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former Locke left WWE. Slade may have taken a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but as boss Shawn Michaels just said, there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. <laughs> Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title, and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now! Wow, this is actually gonna happen? I understand, but I got this. Trust me. Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have it in Walls of one Rage getting a match for the WWE Championship on the night he returns. But if he loses, he might as well be fired from WWE. I don't think there's a chance that he's gonna get another short Rage win for the cover. But Shawn Michaels tried to rip out of the ring. Rage just connected a mass destruction and would have won the match and Orton and Braun breaking all the referees out and couldn't see anything even if he did. Rage would win by disqualification and Gabriel Slade would have retained. Shawn Michaels now of course throwing the ring 
back into the ring. Born Wade screwed out of this WWE Championship match. I don't think Wade has a chance in hell to get another shot at the WWE Championship. Slate now continuing the assault on Wade's Ultimate Breaker joins in. Davis now out here to help Brian Wage, but I don't think he's gonna be much help, and no, he isn't. Evolution makes quick work of taking him down as well. Breaker now dropping Rage to watch how they beat up Davis. Slate now with his finisher on that steel chair to Davis. Ryan Wage and his mentor got the whole beat out of them. Shawn Michaels couldn't be happier. What's next? Let's find out. Or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. Wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What'd he say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. SummerSlam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks, with one Raw a week, plus a premium live event, so you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You're gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers, so even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. So Finn Balor and AJ Styles has just reached out to Ryan Wage and offered him their help. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, Finn Balor and AJ Styles were sent to the Buzzlands before Ryan Wage. 
so the three know exactly what each other is going through and the two of them has agreed to form a faction with Ryan Rage. Hopefully it will be enough to keep evolution at bay. Let's find out. So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Actually, I did. Great. Are you ready to move forward then? Remember, once you make this decision, you can't go back and change your mind. Besides, there's no time for that with your championship deadline approaching, so you better be absolutely certain. I hope you're right, for your sake. Arrived in style to Monday Night Raw. Evolution now driving in star as always with Rage and his newly formed this. faction beating the hell out of all things Slade and Breaker Right, Rage now tossing Breaker to Stars and Banner and the two of them drop him on the limo They just beat the hell out of evolution, Ryan Rage picking up the WWE Championship, remember, that's the only way Ryan Rage can stay in the Bazaloons, otherwise he's gone forever, the three of them now looking to try and flip over evolution's level as they do, wow, can this newly formed faction help Ryan Rage to claim the WWE Championship for the first time? Or will Ryan Rage vanish forever? So far so good. I knew you'd make a great leader. Also, I'm enjoying a new bus. I could get used to this. Don't get too comfortable. If things don't work out for me, the bus goes along with everything else. Fair enough. Well, more motivation, I guess. You think you're ready for the big match later tonight? We already dominated them once tonight. The match will just be more of the same. I like your confidence, but don't get carried away. You have to expect Shawn Michaels is gonna strike back. Be careful. We got this. Regions new faction then dominated the match against Evolution. But the hurt business interfering in the match. Rage and his faction wins this match by disqualification as Omas and Campello Hayes gets involved. Randy Orton and Ron Breaker now picking Rage up and pointing him to the Titan Tron where MVP is clapping his hands at Shawn Michaels. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Or, in this case, two of the most powerful factions in WWE. I mean, just when you thought you had evened up the sides, we were two steps ahead. So, good luck winning the championship, saving your career now. Shawn Michaels formed a super faction consisting out of evolution and the hurt business. Just as Ron Wade thought to even things up, Shawn Michaels threw this wall caught his way. And Gabriel Slade standing tall over Ryan Rage with the WWE Championship. Will Rage get to that WWE Championship? Or will the Fiend make him vanish forever? We'll have to wait until the next episode to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I will see you all next time.